Hi everyone, this is the first video in our data link layer series and the first topic we are going to talk about is error detection and correction. And the reference book I used for this topic is data and communication networks by Forozen. So as we transfer data, we want our data to be as accurate with as much accuracy we want to be exact in our data. But it gets corrupted as sending data is no magic and life is not fair. So it gets corrupted during the transmission. So the first thing we are going to talk about is types of errors. So the first type of error is single bit error. In single bit error, a single bit is get corrupted. Like one zero zero one. Well, if this bit is changed to one, then we can say this is a single bit error. The data becomes one zero one one. Well, transferring data a little error is tolerable like in audio and video but when we want to transfer text we want as much as high accuracy as possible but these type of error single bit error are least likely to occur why because let's say the data is sent as 1 mbps megabits per second that means that each of this bit will last only one by one zero 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 and one more zero seconds well or you can say one microsecond this is a very small time and mostly the noise which interferes with the data is actually stays for a longer time so to affect just one bit is rare you know almost impossible so the other type of error we face almost most of the time is burst error. As you can expect what's coming in burst error, one, two or more bits are affected. As the noise stays for a longer time, it can affect this bit, this bit, and the data gets changed and corrupted. So what, what, what can we do? As so we need some mechanism to correct and first of all to detect it so what we do is we use the concept of redundancy what is redundancy in this we add some extra bits to the data so that if they are changed we can get we can detect that there was some you know interference occurred in the passage and the data is corrupted so that we can you know ask again the user for data or use some other ways to correct it so the two things we want to do are first error detection it is just a simple yes or no whether data whether error occurred or not yes or no okay the other one is error correction this is much more difficult to implement why because in this we want to know the exact number of bits that are that are corrupted bits corrupted as well as their location so 
so how do we achieve this you know redundancy that is correction and detection and other schemes well what will we get if we detect the error we can do two things if we detect the error yeah two things we can do when we detect the error first first is known as forward error connection forward error correction so in forward error correction we analyze the data the data and with the help of the redundant bits we guess what is corrupted and try to fix it the other one is the well when we can't do anything the other one is retransmission when we detect that the data is significantly corrupted and there is no way we can solve it or we want much more accuracy than we get by fixing this so we'll request for retransmission so retransmission is we that corruption confirmed and ask sender to resend the message okay so so the first step as we have talked is to how do we get to know whether the data is corrupted or not so the method was redundancy and first we will talk about error detection hmm. so there are various coding schemes to achieve this the first block coding and second is convolution coding we were we are going to talk about block coding only and this is a much higher topic maybe later so what happens in block coding well in as maybe the this is our message we divide it into various blocks mm. message into say 1 2 3 and k blocks so we divide our message into k blocks and add some bits add some bits how much 3 4 as per requirement as we will see later let's say r bits r for redundant bits so then this is the k size of data or k size plus this r this is known as data word these are the redundant bits and the whole thing we get is known as code word hmm so this is the first step towards block coding so we get this code word let's say n 
so we get n is equal to k plus r okay so what should we do in this see as we are going to add redundant bits the sender and the receiver both need to have a copy of what data words or code words come into valid keywords so we will they will both have a table like these are data words and these are code words so let's say our data words are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and we are adding some bits so it becomes like we are adding a zero after each so it will be zero 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 one zero one zero zero one one zero so these all are known as valid keywords valid code words okay ah, valid code words so these are all are known as the receiver and the sender both will be having this table we can say this is the error de detection cable so both will be having this table and they will match all the code words with this table and check if an error is occurred so so if the what you can say if the receiver receives a code word from the sender like 011 as 011 is not in this table so we can easily say that the code word we re received is corrupted so we can move on to other methods like we can apply various correction methods on it or we can ask the sen sender to retransmit the message So this is the way we detect then that an error is occurred but yeah there is a fault in this also as let's say our data was 0 0 0 and okay let's say uh, this was our original code word sent from the sender and it's two bits got corrupted like say this changed to and this changed to one so the receiver received this so when the receiver checks this from the table yeah it's present so he believes that the data is uncorrupted so in this way it if the change or the corrupted data word is also present in the error detection table it remains undetected this is the fault in this there are many more methods so the second thing is how do we correct this data see we have see how we are going to detect it we are just going to match it from the table the method for correction is also almost same just like we I will give you an example let's say now we will see error correction okay so as we saw we detected the error as it was not available in the error detection table the same thing we are going to do again and this is our table 00011011 and 00 0010011 okay so 
this was our original and these are the bits we added so so if the receiver receives like um, 0 1 0 0 1 okay so the receiver received this and he matches it with the table of course it's not present here as this it's not present so yeah it's obvious now that the data is corrupted so if he thinks that he don't want the sender to retransmit the data so he tries to correct it by comparing it with the other entries so he compares it with the first and how many bits are changed that this one this one he compares it with the second the second and this are almost same except the one two three four this this bit is one in the table and with this there are many bits change and with this also so the closest the closest estimation the receiver makes is that the code word he received is this one so he corrects it he corrects it and replaces this with this so this is how error correction works so in the next video we will look at hamming distance minimum hamming distance and some other some linear block coding techniques okay see you next time